all right, well, so we roll up to it. And Stevie, I remember the, the, the words that came out of his mouth. He said, holy shit, this is like a 15. Because he had threw up like a 15 stair like the weekend before, I think. <laughs> and so he said, oh, my God, it's like a 15. So then what happened? We all, we all fucking set, set up. Hicks up the camera. You fucked around on flat for a little bit. And then, uh, I, I mean, do you want to tell this from your perspective? Well, I mean... I was asleep in the car, so I kind of had to get out of the car and <laughs> warm up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, warm up and get going. Did yeah. a few hop trucks and then sent it. Yeah, and slipped the foot the first time, and then just because kids oh always ask exactly God. what the the sequence of the events timeline, was. Timeline, yeah. Yeah, he he slipped the foot, and then he turned around pretty much. Imagine, right away. imagine I'm a 90 year old woman that just saw the video and just answer this question: What does it feel like on your wrists and yeah. your ankles? Did it hurt? <laughs> No, it didn't really hurt. Nice. I had so much adrenaline going, I guess. Yeah. I, mean, I got a flat tire. No, like, if it. you're just messing around and you're sitting down like a 10 set, yeah. something will hurt. My back really tire's going flat, hurt. and I just sent it. When something big, wow. it never really hurts too bad. Because you're so fucking hyped up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And so then he pulls it. We freak out. We, we watch the clip or whatever. And then, Began, from your perspective, yeah, do you just not remember any of this? I literally don't remember anything <laughs> as soon as we get out of the car. I Pretty think, crazy. yeah. That's, That's about it. Yeah, I think Stevie out. was kind of uh, mentally scarred by seeing what happened to you pretty much right afterwards. Like, I'm like honestly kind of happy that I don't remember anything because I feel like it would have fucked me in the head way worse if I actually knew what happened. Like, yeah. Now it's kind of like I go about things and I don't really think about it because I don't really know anything well, about it. Has, For those of you that aren't that don't know what we're talking about, Brandon did an insane half cab down El Toro. Tried. Well, he tried. He attempted it. Balls of steel. So let me just say that, that what happened was yeah. that. So Stevie pulls the truck, and Vegan yeah, had Began. kind of mentioned that he might want to half cab it, but not in any sort of seriousness. I was, yeah, it was like the biggest thing I had half cab before I tried El Toro was I think a twelve. Yeah, and so I was kind of just like one night, like we said we were just like drunk. I was just bullshit. I was like, yeah, Stevie's gonna truck El Toro half cab, and I was like, <laughs> and then it came down to it, and I got there the next day. I was like, shit, I don't know if Stevie did it, and like, when's the next time I'm gonna be here? I might as well give it a shot. And the thing was, the thing that kind of fucking sealed the deal was that Stevie said, you half cab it, I'll go right behind you in three with Yeah, it. Stevie wanted to session it after with a bunch <laughs> yeah. of other crazy ass tricks. And Stevie was thinking now, about, but, yeah, I mean, he was thinking about oh, some wow. other fucked up shit I too. I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. yeah, Stevie had like three other things lined up down it that would have been insane, but I'm not so, gonna bring those to the light of day. <laughs> yeah, no. so being straight up just had the fucking look in his eyes like he was just a fucking zombie. And he just fucking went up there. I was high as shit and half asleep. So you were committed, <laughs> though, man. You were 100% committed. But we, oh, we have to talk about this because a kid asked me on Ask FM. He said, was Begin high when he tried to half cab Altura? Duh, when am I not high? <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we kind of get out of the way is it's like he definitely didn't even – it never crossed your mind that you would smoke no, weed earlier. But by the same token, I mean, I'm pretty good at what I do. Yeah, it's like smoking Isn't a fucking weed cigarette smoking, So it's you, like I smoked so. cig before I went and did it. I mean, like – Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't feel personally uh, at fault. Because I allowed you to smoke weed before you tried this trick because I've seen you smoke weed before every other trick you've ever yeah, tried in your entire life. I ride better when I'm high. Yeah, there's, there's no way around it. But True. anyway, so then Began runs up the stairs, starts doing it, and then he fucking goes for it, and he fucking Case almost what, third, third stair? Yeah. yeah. I, I can't remember exactly, but I think your back... You oh, yeah. Case the second stair and blew off the back on your butt, and then you just... Yeah, like, got yeah. right up. He didn't even yeah. land, hit the ground. He just stomped. I kind of, I, I kind of remember this piece a little bit. I just remember, like, like Stevie said, I just blew off, he and blew I was like, I had the fire in my eyes. I was like, up. fuck. I just ran back up the stairs and just sent it, and I don't know anything from there. We all said the but, same thing. We were all like, just go a little faster, just go a little faster, because you, you did come super close. Yeah. But then I gave know. it like one more crank, and I think that kind of like I didn't compensate for how much extra time I'd be in the air. And so when and you, that's why I over rotated. When, when you watch the video, yeah, what's your analysis of what went went wrong? Why the hell did I try to full cab El Toro? <laughs> full cab? It looks like a full cab. A lot of kids <laughs> ask that, yeah. In retrospect, would, do you think the full cab would have been easier or the fakie hop? Oh, uh, hell no. No? No, okay. never. A bunch I, of kids I could, suggested that. I honestly that, couldn't too. imagine landing down that set backwards. Yeah. Uh, It'd be near impossible, especially with the uphill landing and shit. Like. And then, so I guess I got to take over from... Yeah, I'll let them take over. I don't remember anything from this point, so... <laughs> Stevie's going, it's possible. Oh, it's, it's possible. possible. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Half cab, bar it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, then what, what happened? Oh, so I mean, this is like, I'm, I'm laughing, but this is like the most fucking horrific experience of my entire fucking life. I fucking, I'm looking into the camera filming a fish and I, I, you know, there's like a split second gap where you're like looking through the viewfinder and you kind of can't tell what happens. And then I, I look up and I just see you just laid out and, you know, I run down the thing and me and Stevie both were having a fucking heart attack right, right away. Like, so... Not able to comprehend, okay? Stevie. What was what was going through your head when you fucking saw it? Man, and just he's, right. he's a road kill. I thought he died. I was fucking. That's I think what we all thought at first. Was, yeah, I was shook. Like yeah. he wasn't really breathing and shit. 
Like it was, it was pretty fucked. He was snoring pretty much like immediately. Had lots of urine in my pants. You pissed your pants. Oh, was, wow. I'll that's, never go back to El Toro. That's nah, a rough one, man. That was, it was a terrifying experience. Yeah, I don't know. There's other shit that I want to do at that school, but I don't know. I really don't want to see that thing again. That, kind of like, yeah, that, that was my whole thing about it was that I was like really thinking in my head, like, I'm going to have to tell his mom that I killed her son. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And so then me and Stevie are just, you know, crowded around him. And then, you know, we're, we're just waiting, just waiting for something to happen. And then Hicks says, he goes, I'll call 911. Just tell me. I'll press the button. And I go, okay, Come do on. it. Call. And fi- finally, call. after like you know, a minute and a half or something What was like that, that for, like three minutes, something like that? I think it was probably like a minute and a half, maybe. A half? I was like, all right, just do it. Call, you know, call, call 911. And at that second, you fucking jumped up. I didn't want to take a ride in an ambulance. Fuck that. Somehow you yeah. must have known. Wow. American medical system, man. That's a thousand, <laughs> that's a thousand bucks. Dude, you know? for real. You don't I don't got that kind of money. Dog. Is it a thousand? I thought it was like five thousand. Probably just, just the ambulance. Yeah, exactly. probably would have been to our overseas that. listeners, this will be totally unthinkable that we have to pay for an ambulance. Right, pay yeah. for an ambulance. So uh, while we're on top of this, I'm, I'm just yeah. going to ask you the question one time. You, you hit your head really hard. Yeah. Uh, do you wear a helmet now when you ride? <sighs> no, 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 don't. I'm, 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 I'm nah. not putting it on you. Nah, because nah, that's cool. shame what, your whatever, choices. whatever your answer is, I respect no. it. I don't like. I don't like wearing a helmet. No, I don't like. I'm not going to try and get into this. I don't wear a helmet when I ride. I don't know. For me. I don't know. It's just, it looks weird. I'm not trying to, like, say that it, it makes like, it. It, like, bothers you when you're doing a trip. It makes your head really, really sweaty. It's always jiggling around in your head weird and shit like that. Like, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable wearing it. It doesn't feel natural. Like, I feel like riding my bike is something I go out there and do for fun. And by putting on a helmet or pads or something like that, it's almost like a sport where you're, like, putting on your uniform to go out and do that. Like, I, I don't know. It. I'd rather just wake up in the morning, grab my bike, and just go cruise. That's, like, what I've always done since I started riding. So, so. Because the people I, out there... I used to wear a helmet. My parents I, used to put it on me, like, real hard. Well, the, the only reason that I ask is because people that, obviously, that, that your video has gone viral of your crash. Yeah, yeah like, Morgan, Morgan Wade comments. called me out on his Facebook board and stuff like that. <laughs> Morgan like, Wade did call him out, yeah. Well, and then that's, you know, that, that's one of those, the, the fine line that you have to walk. But at the end of the day, yeah. you're a professional. You I know can what I'm doing. Whatever like, you do. Yeah. I mean, that's that. But I just wanted to at least touch base with that because I know a lot of people yeah. that might be listening. When no, I, I definitely support, do you wear a helmet now. I support helmet. use kids wear a helmet. My parents always made me wear a helmet until I was like 18, like 17, was able to make the choice myself. But yeah, I'm not going to do it. I do think that we're at a good point in um, BMX's evolution, I guess, where there are a lot of pro street riders that wear helmets so that yeah. a kid now doesn't have like like if, if it's I not were, like they see every pro out there not wearing a helmet and they right. feel like they're dumb if, if they i do, were to like, have started wearing a helmet in 1999 to ride street i would have been the, like i wouldn't have had way. a pro role model to look up to because there was nobody who rode a helmet for street that i can think of at the time and you now saw, like butcher or ralph or vicky Allen wearing a helmet. there's like, there's tons now you know van homan and gary yeah, young definitely. and plaid and you know alex donachi mm-hmm. and all kinds of dudes now yeah, exactly. so i think it's good that at least it feels like it's more balanced, you know? Yeah, for real. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But uh, so then, I don't know. I mean, we, a lot, we, got, we caught a lot of flack online, too, because we didn't take it to the hospital. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't really make that decision for myself. If I would have been my mom there, was kind, My mom was kind of bummed out to go to the hospital. She thought I could have died or something. But, yeah, I, I mean, it was weird because you seemed fine right away, and, like, you, you didn't have memory, but at the same time, like, yeah. I've been in that situation a bunch of times where, like, people hit their head, and then they end up getting these fucking insane medical bills, and I was just exactly. like, you know, I know what they're going to say when I take you to the hospital. We're going to yeah. sit there for six hours, and they're going to say, okay, go home and sleep. And or, worst comes to worst, not, I could have had, like, you know, a blood clot or something well, like well, that. Also, I mean, yeah. I think this is also important for people to know that you really can't trust Adam to take care of you if you're going to crash. I mean, there's lesson learned. I'm cheap, but I wasn't even being cheap with my own finances. I was being cheap with yours. The man can barely take care of himself. Never mind us two boys. <laughs> I would have assumed that you wouldn't have wanted. I don't know. I mean, I no. Had, had I been coherent, I probably would have said, "But like, nah, I'm good." So that's the El Toro story. That's yeah, the El Toro story. Awesome. So maybe yeah, now pl- kids please can listen stop to this asking. and stop asking me about it because I've heard it a million times and I might kill myself if I have to tell the story one more time. How many a kid wrote on your bike? Remember El Toro at a <laughs> fit shop stop. It was awesome. Do you okay? Do you plan on going back? Fuck no. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like I obviously thought that I could do it at the time, and I still think that I could do it, but honestly, it's really not worth it. Yeah, after everything I that I went through after that, nah. I'm just a dead boy. Got no blood in my face. I'm just a dead boy. 